Maureen, you got to go with your uh, your quote. <laughs> Butter free in 20. Oh yeah, yeah. I had said at the at the when we did our, our B hags or big hairy audacious goals, I had said mine is the clutter free in 23, which I did not create, but I have adapted it. Um, because it can be then that goals can be broken down in so many different ways, professionally, personally, you know, mm-hmm. at home, etc. So I said I just focus on the um the ones at personally and at home, just so that my line of sight is uh is clear so which will help clear my mind it will help clear it just it can lead to a lot of positive outcomes so it's about just setting the timer for five to 15 minutes even a day will make a difference because over time that will add up um Mm -hmm. if you multiply that by the 365 days it's uh, a lot of time then spent just uh clearing and, and the first time through may not see what i see the second time through or third time through but um it is really fun to remove things get them out of the house be more aware of what comes into the house and um then when I do go back to a room or a cabinet or something I open I'm like oh that's right I did that like and it just <laughs> then you're like <laughs> right and it was after it was especially after clearing up you know cleaning up after Christmas and then suddenly the room looks so big because it's like you know it doesn't have a tree in it and the whole bit and rearranging furniture it's like wow this has been under the tv stand for a while this needs to go so i was just realistic about as as opposed to my fantasy self i have to be realistic about who who i am today Mm -hmm. what is serving me today and and trust that if i really did need something again in the future i will have the means to be able to acquire it so um just kind of trying to bless other people with uh <laughs> I love access. that so much I, I so you so too. is it it's going yeah. well your clutter it is I mean so and my goal is also so when my kids come home from college and they they can see a difference of like what's not then like you know staged in the hallway ready to be uh you know you know, and, 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 or even if I put something in my trunk to like drop it off at green drop right away, don't like drive around with it in my car for three weeks. And then, you know, <laughs> yes, it's yes. like just things right away. And it just, it's amazing how much lighter you can feel when it's like, Oh, that's not there anymore. Like, right. yeah, yeah. No, I use, I'm in a part of a buy nothing group. And so it's also about mm-hmm. connecting with people who were in my community. And, um, I try to, I try to give away more than I take in. So, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, but you just never know. I mean, sometimes it's just, you know, like Mm -hmm. the one was a, the uh, balance board, the simply fit balance board. And I was like, yeah, I I put in the thing. I was like, no, you have to actually use it in order to get the results you're trying to achieve. (laughs) That's it. (laughs) That's the truth. (laughs) And and the woman, the one woman goes, you picked me. I never get picked. I'm so excited. (laughs) So. It's just funny. So anyway, clutter free in 23. So clutter free yeah. on put the hashtag in there. Yeah. Clutter free in 23. That's it. I think that's all of us. But I think you bring up a good point. Is it, it's about um having an awareness of yourself and what you what you can do to set yourself up for success. So I am I am not the most organized person. It takes, you guys have no idea what it takes for me to pull off some of the things that we end up doing. And it's not all me, that's for sure. You know, so it's, uh, it's like, I need help. And, and if you're realistic about that, and if you're honest with yourself about that, then you see, you know, certain levels of success come your way. And for me, it's, it's okay. I have to do this in really small bites. Otherwise I'm just going to overwhelm myself, you know? So on and I are working on this really massive project that I'm going to be excited to announce to you guys here pretty soon, but it's massive. And I at first tried to tackle it by myself and I like, I cannot get this done by myself. So you have to bring somebody else in. And then it's, Okay, how far down can I chunk this out so that it becomes manageable, you know, without getting into this, I heard this term, uh, complexity trap. So it's a complexity trap of where you keep adding things to your list and making something more complex than it has to be. You know, and we keep falling. I personally, I'm only speaking for myself. I've, I fall into that a lot. So for me, 
Maureen, what you said there really important is about what knowing yourself. And when you know yourself and set up those littler goals and it becomes happy, right? Because you're able to do the smaller things. I think that's, that's awesome.